following. Look at him. There we go. Looks like a decent fish too. Come up and crush it. Oh, I thought. For yes, let's go. Thirty-five feet that way. See that one? Yeah, that should be right to him. You see yourself? Yeah. That looks like a decent fish too. Come on, come up and crush it. Is he on it? Oh, I thought for. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Oh, if they're biting on that, I'm gonna be a happy camper. He's right behind here. You might want to come back. Oh, that's a decent walleye. You gotta look at him. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Not a giant, but decent. Oh, there we go. First fish of the trip here. God, these rainy lake fish are just so thick. That one was on the smeltinator jig and jerk shad. All right, so first fish of the day. Yeah, I truly don't have a great idea of what the plan is gonna be. Obviously by the title of this video, you're gonna be able to tell what's going on, but today is just gonna be kind of exploring. Um, my, my hope is to get around some of this structure and be able to live scope fish with jigging and wraps and jigs and plastics, but I truly don't know. Um, so we're up back up on my favorite body of water. We're on Rainy Lake and we are back in school. So it's just gonna be a quick couple day hitter. Um, I'm here with my buddy Peter, teaches in Park Rapids as well. And he actually guides with Rainy Lake houseboats on Rainy Lake here. So we are out and we're gonna be seeing if we can't uh, target some of these bigger fish, specifically on this structure. We might end up going shallow, but we're gonna start out a little deep and see what we can find. So we're gonna keep rolling here, kind of rolling around with the live scope and see if we can't put some good fish topside. Right off this edge here. Might be worth just dropping down here quick. Drop down off the... Actually, you could probably drop pretty close to straight down. Oh, see that one? Yeah, it rolls up. Thinking about it. Decent. Decent. Yeah. Just gonna try to keep good pressure on them because I didn't get good hooks into them. Uh, not as big as I was thinking. Not as big as I was thinking. This one's got a little bluish tinge to it. Yeah. Another one in that same kind of low 20s range. That one did not get very good hooks into him right away. He was little group off this um, break line here, kind of on the edge of this flat and not super aggressive yet, but we are able to put a few in so far. You can see that kind of guy kind of darting around a little bit as that jigging wrap was ripping around down there and finally picked it up right off bottom. Following. Yep, there we go. Not big, not big, at least not yet. Kind of swimming with me. Decent. Not the ones we're looking for, but not too bad. Oof, and he slid off right in the net. Another one in that low 20s. Ah, that sun behind us is making it tricky. It's all right. There we go. Another thick fish, low 20s. Hopefully we can move on to bigger it looks like it's about 50 feet maybe towards that island a little bit maybe just to the hair of that island they didn't even budge that wind it should be about perfect oh started moving a little bit more oh oh following there you bet oh See him? Yeah. Oh my gosh, what is he doing? I just decided to set the hook that time. He Look at him, probably a little pike. There we go. Oh, a good walleye. Look at that. <laughs> Who would have thunk that that was a walleye? Yellow one right down there there focused on it right down the gullet yeah it took him he swung and missed three times 
Oh, nice, beautiful golden walleye right there. Let's see what we're at. 24. Mid 20s, getting closer to what we're looking for. But there's bigger out there. But that is one of the things that I think is so cool seeing those fish, watching them chase. We threw three, four different baits at it. Finally, that big paddle tail. You can see we got, I think that's a five inch paddle tail and it bit about three different times and finally on that third one just chomped it. That is fun right there. There's a few off this end. Yep, oh. oh. Got bit on the drop. Again, these ones don't look big. The one closest looks a little better. Ooh, he saw it. Come on. Yep, there it is. Decent. Decent fish. This one's one that looked a little better on there. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a solid fish, I think. Oh, I'm just gonna keep pressure on him so we don't pop off. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Oh, this is where it gets dicey. Not too bad. That's a little more what we're looking for. Not as big as I was thinking, 25 and a half. Oh, biggest of the day so far. Not a giant though, 25 and a half. Just a thick, nice fish on the jig and wrap. Oh, sweet. All right, we got some big fish and some sweet bites coming up, but first I need your help, need your opinion here. So what you might've noticed is in this video, I'm trying a few different things. I'm overlaying some of the map as soon as I get to a new spot so you can see exactly what I'm fishing. I am overlaying some of the information with the rod, the reel, the bait, trying to put all of that information in some of that time while I am fishing so I don't have to take as much time afterwards to talk about that and to demonstrate that. And essentially what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get max amount of information and education to you while also still providing that in entertainment of some of the fish catching and some of that. And the worry that I have is that it's gonna be information overload and it's gonna to be too much going on at one time. You can't really um, take it all in. So what I would like for you is I would love if you would comment down below if that is something that, hey, I really like that, like being able to see that in real time and not after the fact or if that is something that is too distracting like hey it's too much going on so please if you could help me out um, make my videos better for you i would love if you would drop a comment down below hey i like it hey i don't like it too much going on that way i know how i can continue and to improve going forward if you would do that i would be much appreciated now back to some of the fish catching Guess what? What? I was not recording. Oh, no. Oh, this one's recording. Okay, we're good. So we got the most important one at least. 27? Bring that bad boy right over here. On the Ned Rig. About 50, 55 front left here. Good one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna work a little bit further. All right, there we go. Now I'm coming. Another good fish, huh? Yeah. You bet. Love it. That carbon prism getting a good workout. Yeah, another oh, another good walleye. Oh, I almost screwed up the net job. You bet. There we go. Another beauty. God, that one might be bigger. It's thicker, that's for sure. Nice fish, I think it's just gold. That's what we're here for right there. Yeah, another fat one. God, Holy dang, that thing cow, is thick. That thing is that seriously only 27 and a half? Dang. You bet. Thick, rainy lake walleye right there. Wow, that is awesome. Here, we're gonna grab a picture here. That is a... Big Beauty. Oh, Woo, she's feisty. Yeah. Back to back. The nice fish. So we got the old Ned rig here. That's been back to back. 27, 27 and a half. That last one was just absolutely thick. Ooh, there's a group off to 50 feet here. Finding bigger ones. Yeah. A little more concentrated too. Yeah, two. Yep, not a giant. 
Not a giant. First cast on the eye candy. What do we have? This one's not bad, not big, but normally be happy with that other than on Rainy Lake. First one on, first cast actually. I'll show you, we got the eye candy plastic on that smeltinator jig head right there. See if it'll focus. Come on, there we go. Smeltinator jig head, eye candy plastic, first cast. There we go. Fun nonetheless. But let's get back to some of those bigger ones. Ooh, he's coming after me. Oh, come on. That's a good fish. That's a big fish. We're in 17 feet, but oof. That one looked bigger than those other ones. Let's go. Still a good fish. Ned Rig is cleaning house today. You bet. Another quality fish. Some stuff going on 65, 70 feet off the edge of that. Thump! Let's go. How's it feel? Pretty good. You bet. Oh, oh, oh. I got you right over. Yeah, another good one. Not giant, but. Feisty out of 10 feet of water. Yeah. Oh, you bet. Right out of like 10 feet on the Ned Rig. So we've had fish in about 28 feet. We've had fish in now 10 feet up on top of this thing. Again, like I said, this is literally in, I guess, 11 feet. So we're in 11 feet on top of this thing. We've caught fish in 28 feet, a little deeper off the edges. So a little bit of everything today. They are kind of cruising around on this structure. Nothing has been crazy aggressive. That 24 and a half that I caught on this big swim bait, that one was decently aggressive after we finally got to it. But nothing's been crushing it. We're putting a few together here, just getting to be about midday and yeah, put some quality fish in the boat already. There's a couple good ones right there. Ooh, hooked up already? Yeah. Let's go. That netter, man. I have one chasing here too. Is it coming close? Yeah. Decent fish? Decent, yeah. Got this right here. You bet. Carbon prism doing work again. Not great. Not huge, but not very well hooked. That's a good fish, actually. Another solid one, another blue-tinged one. Peter getting it done on first cast on the Ned Rig. Let's put her on the bump board. Oh yeah. 28. 28 all day. 28. You bet. 28 incher. Got a little blue tinge to it. So that's a 28 inch blue right there. Wow, what a sweet fish. We're gonna get a quick picture and then we'll get her back. 28 inch beauty. Blue walleye, just like that. Oh yeah, you bet. Hey, let's go. Let's go, that's. Good thing I brought Peter with. You bet. Got to just a new spot here. Peter cast it out first cast. You can see there was two that were out in front a little bit. He cast it towards those. I cast it towards the one right here and first cast on that net rig again. 28 inch beauty. I don't know how you can see it in the camera, um, but it was actually a blue walleye where it had a little bit of that blue tinge to it. Just a super cool fish. Toss on that one quick. Oh. I think he tried to hit, there it is. Yep, not giant. Not small, but not giant. This guy bit twice. Not a bad one. Just get spoiled up here, you know? Yeah. Get a Perfect. 23. Right around 23. This one out a little bit deeper, kind of on a little bit deeper flat, back on the jig and wrap. One of my favorite things is when you see one like kind of loner off to the side and you're like, ooh, that looks like a good fish. So you usually get good hooks into them because you're ripping so hard. Right. Like that. There we go. That one had to chase for a little bit. No, not super big. There we go. Just a plump little guy though. Just like me, plump little guy. There we go. 50, 55. Let me cast over top. Okay, 
just getting rid of those fish. Yep, that one hit it on the drop. You bet. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to get oh, better hooks fine. into them because I didn't, couldn't catch up to them. Stay pinned. Yeah, not bad. Not too bad. There we go. Another 24 on the jig and wrap. This one, I'll show you a quick release. Again, um, those last couple we caught, we were off on that little bit deeper flat off the edge of it. Now we moved up on top of this reef a little bit more. We're about 15 to 17 and seeing some more fish. So again, like I said, we're kind of seeing anywhere there's around structure, they're in a lot of different depths. So there's not one specific depth that we're seeing, um, but what we're seeing is kind of some of these areas that have a little more of a flat area to them, not necessarily on these steep break lines, but where there's a little area for these fish to roam is kind of what we're seeing um, some of these fish are hanging out by. Like here, it's a little bit flat, more up on top, where as we were out deeper, it was a little bit flat out on the deeper part. Um, so being able to find some of those areas where they can kind of roam and chase some of that bait around seems to be the key so far today. Look at all those. Yep. You bet. Those are all that size walleyes. I would, uh, right. I would take it. Like it's, oh, sorry, Peter. <laughs> Tried to decapitate you. Got a nice little 25 incher. We got another. 24 is that we said there we go little eater size all right well that is going to be a wrap on day number one fun little day out here through a lot of things caught fish on a lot of different things like i said jig and wrap uh, jigs and plastics quite a few different types of plastics the ned rig came in clutch again um, and even that little bit bigger swim bait so not sure what the plan is for tomorrow if we're gonna do something similar something different but uh, we will see what happens as always appreciate the support thanks so much for watching see you next time